In this series, we'll be discussing heme and its metabolism, and in this video, we're going to sort of introduce heme. Okay, heme is an important component of the globins, okay, which are specifically uh, hemoglobin and myoglobin, which we've talked about before. Okay, heme is also an important component of the cytochromes. Okay, the cytochromes, which of course we saw in the electron transport chain. Okay, they're also an important component of uh, CYP450 enzymes. Um, now, heme, as far as its structure, which is shown below here, contains a t contains really two key elements or two key components. And the first component is the porphyrin ring. The porphyrin ring, and I'll put a little one here. So that's one key component. And that porphyrin ring can have side chains, as we can see down here. But uh, the porphyrin ring is basically uh, this portion here. We'll talk more about it um, later. The, the, that Basically, that part inside there uh, is the, the porphyrin ring, and then these guys on the outside are the, the side chains, okay? Um, and you would notice that the side chains vary depending on which heme you have. Okay, so let me get rid of some of that green stuff. It's getting a little bit messy. Um, but yeah, it's got that porphyrin ring, and then on the inside there, we also have the iron 2 plus ion in the center, okay? Those are really the two key components that we think about that make up heme. So in the center here, we have heme B, which is... Uh, protoporphyrin 9 and iron 2 plus and so protoporphyrin 9 is a specific uh, porphyrin um, and heme B is what we typically think about when we think about heme and that's, that's because that's the heme that's in uh, hemoglobin and in myoglobin we have heme A and heme C here also um, just to kind of show you different structures um, but heme A for example is the is in cytochrome uh, cytochrome A of complex four of the electron transport chain. And then uh, heme C over here uh, is in cytochrome C of complex three of the electron transport chain. Okay, um, and you can see how they have these different uh, side chains um, you know, that make them unique as far as heme goes. Okay, anyway, so um, oops, that's what's going on there. Now heme is made in most tissues, but uh, we mostly care about what's going on as far as its synthesis in the liver and the red blood cell precursors in the bone marrow. Okay, and you'll notice I'm writing precursors here in all caps, and that's um, that's important. Okay, so liver and bone marrow, and in the bone marrow, in these red blood cell precursors, um, the heme synthesis sort of occurs at a constant rate, and that's basically due uh, just to sort of general globin turnover. Whereas in the liver, it occurs at a more variable rate depending on what's going on uh, with the different um, heme proteins okay, that in, in the body, particularly uh, CYP450, which we'll talk more, more about later. Um, now, why did I write red blood cell precursors in all caps? You'll see momentarily, but it has to do with what I wrote in purple there. In the cells, there are reactions, um, as far as heme synthesis goes, there are in the pathway of heme synthesis, there are reactions that occurring that occur uh, in the mitochondria, and reactions that occur out in the cytosol. Okay, and that's important. Okay, because and and that deals with the fact that heme is only made in red blood cell precursors and not in mature red blood cells. Okay, why is that? Well, it's because 